In this video, we're given two blocks tied together, one with a mass of two kilograms, one with a mass of five kilograms on a level surface. And we have an external force of 40 newtons pulling to the right on the five kilogram block. And a key point here is that the blocks are moving with constant speed. And that immediately tells us that the net force on each block must be zero so that there's no acceleration. An unknown in this problem is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the blocks and the surface, but we know it's the same for each block. So in part A, we're asked to compute that coefficient of kinetic friction between the blocks and the surface. And we'll begin by diagramming forces on each of these objects. So I have the force of gravity downward on the five kilogram block. That's given by mg, so five times 9.8. And that comes out to 49 newtons. Now, since there are no other forces tampering with the vertical direction, the normal force must also be 49 newtons. And because the block is sliding to the right over this surface, the force of friction points to the left. And that's an unknown, and I'll just call that FK5, kinetic friction force for the 5 kilogram mass. We do the same thing for the 2 kilogram mass, and the force of gravity comes out to 19.6 newtons here. Again, the normal force is going to be equal to the downward force of gravity because nothing else is happening in the vertical direction. So those forces must balance. And I have an unknown friction force, again, pointing to the left, and I'll call that FK2. That's the kinetic friction for the two kilogram mass. So now to make progress here, we're going to apply Newton's second law to each of the masses. And in this case, the acceleration is zero. So Newton's second law is just that the sum of all the forces must add to zero. And on my two kilogram block, the tension is pulling to the right. So I have T pulling the, to the right. And then I have this unknown kinetic friction force, FK2, pointing to the left. And those have to add to zero, so that the net force is zero, so the acceleration is zero. Again, these blocks are moving with constant speed, so the net force on each block must vanish. The five kilogram block is a little more complicated. I have a 40 Newton external force applied to the right. And then the tension in the string pulls to the left. So I have minus T and the friction force also points to the left. So minus FK five, and that's the net force. And that must be equal to zero. Now I can plug in the fact that each friction force is given by the kinetic friction coefficient multiplied by the normal force. And the normal force for the two kilogram block was 19.6 Newtons. And I do the same thing for the five kilogram block. I have 40 minus T minus mu K times the normal force on that one, which was 49 is equal to zero. And now I can get at that kinetic friction coefficient by adding these two equations. And when I do that, the T's are going to eliminate. And I get 40 minus mu K times 19.6 minus mu K times 49 is equal to zero. We'll add the mu K terms to both sides factor the mu k out, and I get 40 equals 68.6 mu k. And finally, I arrive at my kinetic friction coefficient, mu k is 40 over 68.6 into three sig figs, that's 0 0.583. In part b, we're asked to get the tension in the string between the blocks. So in terms of the algebra, we could go back to either one of these equations that related t and mu k and we'll plug in the mu k that we found and solve for t. But it's simplest to do this for the two kilogram block because that one had the least number of forces on it. It's just t pulling to the right, kinetic friction force pointing to the left, and t has to be equal to the kinetic friction force so that the net force is zero and I get a constant speed. So I'm really just saying t equals fk2, but fk2 is mu k times the normal force for the two kilogram block, which was 19.6. And we plug in our friction coefficient of 0.583, and we arrive at a tension of 11.4 newtons. And that's it. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.